Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. I'm going to start with a couple cards from This is the Animal Spirit Oracles, and then we're going to pull from the Naked Heart Tarot. See what's going on for Cancer. Please and thank you so much, Spirit. What have we got going on? Divine angels, guides, ancestors, only love and light. Please and thank you so much. For Cancer. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. Well, if that isn't the theme of the day. Literally, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and now you guys. Everyone is really setting some solid boundaries. People aren't liking it. They're getting mad because you see right through them and you're just fucking done. And they hate it. They hate it because you're, like, there's everybody. It's just reclaiming their power. And all that toxicity that was put onto you were literally just... It's like you drop your hands and the leather jacket just falls right off. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's real slick. Um, and it's just gone. And then they have to pick up the jacket and wear it themselves. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. I love that this card keeps coming out. It keeps coming out in the other deck, though, but that's all right. Learn from the past, set healthy boundaries. If you're approaching something that you haven't, yeah, definitely, eight of wands. If you're running towards something, <laughs> would be more accurate. Uh, make sure you're doing it wisely this time around, okay? Let's see what's going on. For Cancer, please and thank you, spirit, angels, ancestors, guides. <sighs> Only love and light. Please and thank you so much. What have we got for Cancer today? That armadillo is so freaking cute. I'm sorry, guys. I got distracted. <laughs> oh, Ace of Wands. I am, if I could just explain to you, some of you are already in this energy. It's so beautiful. The amount of energy that's coming back to you, the amount of passion and drive and just, you're, you're freaking awake. You don't have to take a nap at 3 p.m. anymore. You know what I mean? Like, or wishing you were home so you could, <laughs> you know, those of you guys that are stuck at work. When you just get ready for nap time, it's it's not like that anymore. There's There could definitely be something new or someone new coming in that's just got you like, I don't know. You, you, have you ever seen an adult turn into like a child where they just get animated because they're so happy, they're so excited that like, it's like they're a kid again. And as I'm saying that, we have the six. Sixes represent children. Um, six of wands is victory. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, this is the Seven of Wands. Some of you had to set some very firm boundaries because you've learned in the past you do need them. You're better off saying, hey, actually, <clears throat> as uncomfortable as this is to say, I do want to point out this, that, and the other. Exactly, Temperance. Four of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. Whoosh. Oh, somebody's pregnant. Somebody is Wow, somebody's about seven weeks, six or seven weeks. Yeah. This person wants to be pregnant. If that's not you, it's not you. It would be something else for you. But I am definitely picking up somebody that wants, yeah, because you've had losses. Yeah, 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 I know. I felt that. Learn from the past. There's something that you, like, you know what's interesting? 
Um, I'm actually getting somebody has a healthier diet, you're eating healthier, and that is just putting you in a better mood. It's actually the endorphins in your body, the, the healthier, the more awake, the more childish, free, happy. It's that right there that's allowing your body to actually like go through with it this time because you've had... We need to put that away. Nobody needs to look at that. Um, what else do we have here? Because we're moving past that, right? We're having success and victory in it. Let's get back to the other story here, which hasn't quite formed yet. But I did get that one real quick. Back to temperance again. Okay. So there's a few different stories here. Got you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Two of Wands. Decisions, decisions. Which way do we go? What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> it's like you're so excited you don't even know. Do I go left? Do I go right? I'll just go both. <laughs> oh my gosh, look, we have the naked heart and the star poking out at us at the in the deck here at the bottom. Yeah, there's a total major shift in perception because of where you're going, how you're going there, how you're getting there, how you're going there. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have? Let me get this another shuffle. <laughs> oh, you're going there. Sorry. I love how I'm supposed to talk for my spiritual work right now. And um, <laughs> constantly stumbling over my words. So the Innocence of Pentacles in reverse. You guys are dropping the ball on something and it feels good. Or you're just dropping the weight. Dropping the fat, dropping the, it's the negativity, honestly. It could even be the karmic energy or just the demonic energy that fucks with your head and tells you you're not good enough, you're never going to get this growing or up off the ground, nobody's ever going to look at your application seriously, you just shouldn't even try. You absolutely should. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, you absolutely should. What's the order with this? The sun and the four of cup. It goes like this. Or it could go like this. These two, I'm so sorry. I just bumped that so hard. These two can be reversed is what I'm getting. But yeah, not happy with things not working out. But it's, I'm hearing it was all just a state of mind. Or maybe something didn't work out because there was changes that needed to happen. And once you balance that out, making different decisions here, choosing a different way about going through things or getting to where you're trying to go, but believing in yourself the whole freaking time, that's what's allowing you to actually get that Ten of Pentacles and be in this happy freaking energy that you're in. Again, if I could explain it to you, I would. I don't know the words to explain these feelings. They are so freaking amazing. And if you know anything about our language, the language we speak, this is not the real language. So, um, yeah, slow and steady wins the race with turtle spirit. Again, this could be something that's been a long time since this has happened, or this has been a long time coming. What is happening or what's about to happen, this new beginning that's actually taking off. Be loyal to what you love, clearing out some clutter. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's releasing something that doesn't, it's emotional baggage. It's unnecessary because it's not even true. You are loving, you are deserving, you are worthy, and fuck anybody that told you otherwise. Yeah, I said it. You can let them know I said it too. Our spirit, freedom is yours. And once you have that freedom, Boom. Love surrounds you. Pay attention to music. There's going to be a lot of messages in music. So, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. We just had Leo and Sagittarius energy come out in this reading. Um, but, again, you could be dealing with anybody, anytime. You know how it goes. So, I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.